brothers and sisters we're a bit on the move here and I just heading back now to Rome after a beautiful few weeks in Venice for my Italian lessons and living with the Dominican brothers there who whose charity and uh, warmth really impressed me and it's beauty about being in the Dominican order and in religious life to have this adventure of of slotting into another community somewhere else and still having all this these things in common this this amazing spiritual patrimony and legacy of saint dominic living on in these communities and uh, yeah just it's it, and getting to know the brothers as well it's great and and the whole idea of of the home of the convent you know which brings up an idea for me uh, about the place called loreto um and I just want to share a few things because I watched a documentary about uh, this holy house and I'll put it into the Heart Reach group. Um, but Loreto, um, as you know, or maybe you don't know, is this, it's the first big center for the first big Marian international shrine in the world. And this was because that the, the walls of the house of, uh, of Mary, where Mary was born and where she grew up and it's where also tradition says that Jesus lived with Mary and Joseph as well in this house. Um, these walls um, mysteriously disappeared from the Holy Land and tradition is that angelic beings, uh, angels, um, brought these walls to, to Italy uh, because of an invading army of of Muslim invasions with which the fear of maybe things being destroyed um, that uh, it mysteriously disappeared so if some of you have been to the Holy Land and you've been to Nazareth what is there there's a massive basilica in Nazareth over the place where Jesus lived where Mary had received the angel where the incarnation where where Jesus took flesh in her womb that point and 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 so people get confused so well, what is it what then is in Loreto if there is something there well what's in Nazareth where that basilica marks the spot where the word became flesh where the angel came to Mary is um, is also part of what of the house because there was like a natural grotto and a cave in which people would build like their homes or walls onto and use part of the cave as part of their house. So part of the cave, the grotto is still there and marks the spot, but the walls around it mysteriously moved. Now, archaeologically, it has been proven, and you can watch this documentary, and really amazing to see how the these, it's so mysterious, because these, these walls basically just appeared in Loreto in Italy. Now, it, the tradition is that it the these walls of the house um, were in a few spots before it reached Italy and so anyway in Loreto um, they've done tests on it and it's all stone from the Holy Land it's it's built in a way that nobody in Italy around builds um, they've done lots of tests on it the kind of engravings on it as well um, show the kind of workmanship of local um, workmen's particular to Nazareth as well um, also where it was positioned is in the most bizarre place it was positioned on a main road and kind of an area that nobody would ever build and they actually had to build supporting stuff underneath it to maintain these walls and it was given in a vision to a few people there to, to know who what they what these walls were uh, it's you should watch a documentary I'm gonna put into the group because it's really amazing um, to really understand what took place also the exact measurements of these walls ma measure exactly the markings of the walls that disappeared in Nazareth so there are two traditions often I mean two, two ways of understanding this is the tradition is the mysteriousness of the angels and there's so many um, things in the tradition from popes and from experiences and mystic saints who've had visions and, and have seen how this was how it was transported and then there, there there is also a whole archaeological story and a site which you'll see in the documentary about to explain maybe how they think so. crusaders brought it to, to to Italy but even that the story with crusaders um, as you've seen in the documentary doesn't answer all the other questions that how was, was it possible because there's so many archives and, and the enigma of this thing just appearing overnight literally and this was recorded by proper notaries at the time and in the archives and and to assemble those walls in such a period of time would be very difficult but anyway just reflecting a bit on 
the holy house it's 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 the place of so much it's the place of the family where where, where jesus mary and joseph lived that, that most amazing christian family um the bedrock and model for all christian families um it's also the place of of of, of where mary received true devotion to mary which is to be to be devoted to the word of God. Mary was so devoted to the word of God, she received the word of God fully into her life. And this was happened in these walls. It's also a place of devotion to the Holy Spirit because it was the Holy Spirit who came and overshadowed Mary and filled her with divine life and, and knitted Jesus in her womb. Well, knitted the humanity of Christ to the word of God, which always existed because Jesus is the word. So the word took flesh. We know that it is a place of of of, of such incredible uh, openness to to God, and so there's so many things we can meditate on about these holy about the holy house in Loreto. So I hope you can enjoy the documentary.